Uh, Madam Speaker, even as we stand here today, the centrifuges continue to spin in Iran and their illicit nuclear weapons program forges ahead. Yet they are more isolated today than they have ever been. I commend President Obama for his executive order freezing the assets of the Central Bank of Iran and making it impossible to do business both with Iran and with the United States. I thank our Asian allies for reducing purchases of crude oil and slashing trade with Iran, and I commend our European allies as well for banning the import of Iranian crude. The Iranian economy is in shambles as a result of these international efforts. Its currency is plummeting. Inflation is skyrocketing. I urge my colleagues, our friends across the way in the Senate, to pass tighter sanctions still, to tighten the economic noose on the Ayatollahs, and to force them to give up their illicit nuclear ambitions. And we stand, we must stand with the Iranian people, even as their human rights are crushed by the Revolutionary Guard in their quest for democracy, we stand with them. Our efforts are paying off, Madam Speaker. We cannot let up. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired.